Hi everyone, thanks for tuning with me. This is Sandeep Anu. So it's often asked like what are a couple of good books that one can start learning investing in process. And uh, I thought I'll make this video, make it very simple. The two parts to it. I would say, you know, the first two books, first set and second set, the most easiest book out there lying for anyone to start investing, to start learning about investing is One Upon Wall Street by Peter Lynch. Brilliant book. Peter Lynch has run the Fidelity Magellan Fund in 1980s, 70s, 80s. And he's been one of, he has an excellent track record. He has compounded at the rate of 28, 27 percentage during that period. And uh, he has written it like a storytelling. He says, you know, anybody can do investing. It's no rocket science. And I started the, with this book. It was very easy. Second is Common Stocks and Uncommon Profits by Phil Fisher. Again, another legendary investor dating back to you know, 1940s, 50s, and 60s, and he has been an excellent investor. This is another very interesting book. It's written in a very easy format to understand. And uh, once you cover these two, the next two books, next two sets are a little more getting into the complex. So the next one is Warren Buffett's uh, book, obviously, is uh, Snowball, written by Alice Schroeder. Uh, it's an excellent read. It's again written like a story, but it, you know, it's about Warren Buffett's whole investing approaches and things. So and the last book, I would say it's a very uh, complex read. I would say it's Intelligent Investor, Benjamin Graham. Most often people ask uh, in colleges and everywhere to start with this book, Intelligent Investor. But I would say no, because this is anybody who reads Intelligent Investor will get bored and thoroughly. It's a very tough read and uh, they will just leave the place and go. So better to start with these first three and then get into Intelligent Investor because one can understand and twine with the concepts that explain in Intelligent Investor. Again, Intelligent Investor is a book that is uh, dating back to 1930s, 40s. So it might feel uh, outdated, but many of the concepts are still timeless. So start with these four books and uh, I'm sure this was helpful. Thanks for tuning with me.